vector algebra dot product application. This is a very interesting example and let's try to understand it. The diagonals of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D are 3i, 3j plus 10k and minus i, 9j minus 6k. Show that the quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a rectangle. Now to do these kinds of problems we are actually, let's try to visualize it first. So we have a let's say any quadrilateral. I'm making a, a rectangle at present, right? But it could be any any quadrilateral in general. Now we need to prove that it is a rectangle. So I've just taken rectangle here, right? It helps to visualize how to prove it also as a rectangle. So let's say we have these two diagonals. So let me first show you in general, without using those values, the strategy to solve this question, right? So let us say that we have a vector u here and a vector v here along the rectangle or any quadrilateral for it, that moment, right? So what is, let's say this is u and this is v. So this side will be u plus v, is it okay? So u plus v. And this side, like this, will be u minus v, correct? u minus v. Now you can see from here that if I do u plus v plus u minus v, then what do I get? If I do that, I get 2u. Do you understand? So that is twice the vector u. And if I do u plus v minus of u minus v, what do I get? So u minus v, u is 0, and v, that becomes 2v. Do you see that? So if I know sum and difference, then I can find the vectors themselves. Each vector is half of these. Do you see that? So this is the principle which we are going to use to find u and v and to show that it is a rectangle, the dot product between u and v should be 0. That is the idea. Now if you follow this, then you can very easily do this question. So let me write down what u plus v is. Right? So first, we are given u plus v is equals to one diagonal. Right? One diagonal we will treat as u plus v. It is 3i. So let me write this as component form 3, 3j and 10. Is it okay? Neat. And what is u minus v equals to? u minus v is minus i plus 9 minus 6. Is it okay? Now let us do add them up. So if we add them up, we get 2u, right? So we get 2u equals to add them up, right? So when you add them up, what do you get? That is we are trying to say 2u is what we are adding. So this is equation 1. This is equation 2. At this moment, we are doing equation 1 plus equation 2. So when you do that, you get 2u here. Right? So when you add them, so 3 minus 1 is 2. This is 12. And this is 4 for you. Right? And from here, u equals to half of this. Right? Is half of 2, 12, and 4 which is equals to 1, 6, and 2. Is that okay? So we found u. And let us say this equation for u is, is 3 for us. Right. Now similarly, now we'll find what is v. Okay. How to find v? We'll subtract this time. So this time what we are going to do is we'll do equation 1 minus equation 2. This minus this. And so we get 2v equals to this minus this give me 4 this minus this minus 6 this minus this will give me 16 or vector v let me just make them all vectors is equals to half of 4 minus 6 and 16 that is equals to 2 minus 3 and 8 so we got vectors u and v now let's find the angle between the two vectors using dot product Okay, so what is u dot v equals to? So u dot v is equals to u is 1, 6, 2 dot of 2 minus 3, 8, right? So let's find the dot product. So 1 times 2 is 2. 6 times minus 3 is minus 18. And 2 times 8 is plus 16, which is 0. Now since the dot product between u and v is 0, and u and v are non-zero vectors, correct? Therefore, 
we know the angle between so the angle between u and v is 90 degrees correct since you know what is dot product equals to dot product is magnitude of u times magnitude of v times cos of theta do you see and u and v are not zero so this that means cos theta is zero right so let me write that to make it absolutely clear that means cos theta equals to zero or theta equals to 90 degrees where theta is the angle between u and v right i hope you understand the process the strategy here is to find the vectors from the diagonals and this is kind of a very important step we have done similar questions before in vector algebra so therefore i've given the title vector algebra and dot product applications with the help of dot product we figured out the angle between any two vectors correct so that's how you do this you'll really like it and thank me for this particular solution i hope so thank you and all the best